individual throttle body or ITB. This is a Toda ITB for the K series, as you can see here. And of course, this is my Toda copy that's made by OBXR for my B series or for the B series. You can see the adjustments here. And of course, we gotta thank the OG. Here is my Weber IDF, my dual Weber IDF for my flat four VW. So when you gotta build a good two liter, we're gonna show you. It has a synchronizer kit or synchronizer tool here and we'll show you how to synchronize it how to get proper idle on our itb let's go <laughs> First things first, as my personal Facebook got hacked, I lost control of the original SRD Motorsports page, so I had, make, had to make a new one, and here it is. That's why it has a designation number two, because I haven't deleted the old one. We got the basic prices there of headworks, even engine building, and cam degreeing, and we got posts there. We, we usually post stuff on the, the other page where we do with the shop, and we try to respond as well as on the comments like we do on this channel so you guys gotta check it out like and follow all right and if you don't have facebook we got the ig here's my ig and here we try to do the same i gotta post all the work that we do at the shop and get it updated good i try to respond with dms as well as good here and even facebook here now we got the toda itb at first, I thought it was a T TWM, you know, as the owner claimed it was Toda. So I was like thinking, okay, maybe he got confused. Maybe he didn't realize this TWM until I saw the logo on the size of the throttle. It has a Toda logo here. Let me show you here up close. Now here, yes, and this is legit Toda. And then here's also my copy, my OBXR copy Toda. ITB for the for B series and I'm keeping this so that like when I get to do a B, B series build we're gonna do a good some good stuff right yep there's my B series one we can change it change the flange for uh B16 or GSR head with whichever we plan to we can actually change that and fabricate that easily so this is really good right yep we're gonna talk about the adjustments here on idle to get all balanced okay now here Here's my dual Weber IDF. This is for my flat four VW. You can see it's Weber, yep. Now, the reason why you need to synchronize this is because it's gonna turn into a, like a left, left bank and right bank. It won't like, you know, you don't have to adjust individually like one and two and three and four, but the left and right bank has to be equal because you know you can get all the main jets idle jets and even the air correction jets correct but if the synchronized synchronization on idle is not correct it'll you know you'll have a headache it'll, it, it won't really idle good so we use this the synchrometer tool it pulls vacuum and it'll, it'll show reading and so you can see if you gotta equalize it or if it's equal or not let me just turn this like this here See, you have the linkage or the crossbar on the center. It's not here, but you know you you un you know you disconnect it so that you can actually adjust the idle stopper on each carb. This way, you can equalize left and right, and then once it's equalized, you adjust the crossbar linkage to suit all this perfectly. So now the you would have a synchronized carb and man, it idles really good. It's really it's such a big difference, you know. It's gonna idle smooth. Even on cadrons, we've done this, we've used this on my dad's dual cadron on his dual port sixteen hundred. And if when when it's synchronized, it gives you years of smooth idle. Right, really, really good. And before we continue, hit the like button. This way, the more likes the video gets, the more activity it shows to the algorithm and gets spread out to a wider audience. That means the channel will grow even faster, or even more, and that's a big deal for me. So thank you guys for liking the video. So please do like it if you're enjoying this. Thank you so much for that. All right? Yes. 
going to make us grow. And it's going to be all good in here. Right? Yeah, it's going to be really fun. And subscribe if you haven't. This way, the channel will going to grow even more. And the community is going to be even better because I'm going to try to answer every single question that you have. And of course, for new uploads, you guys will no be notified right away. You can check it out on some other time. And of course, the playlist will be there. You can always check it. We'll have it on the end screen later. So you can check it on your own time after you subscribe. It's going to be good. We're going to talk about membership only videos. And look, there's a lot of it there for the hardcore build this one's for you so yep let's go all right yes and here you can actually see on the red line page it's actually called the synchronizing screw to adjust it and here look 240z the fair lady z yes han knows even if you run three webers you gotta synchronize all of it and here's a picture of the cadron you see the mixture screw is there but the IELTS screw you can adjust it you gotta synchronize it here you gotta use the adapter like this because it's kind of big and here's the picture of the synchronizer tool you guys can check this on ebay or any vw shop like cb performance they all have this it's probably gonna be less than a hundred dollars it's not gonna be super expensive and the reason why i have all this vw stuff is because look i have a cb performance stroker crank this way, sooner or later, I can build a two liter VW for my bug. I got a bug and here. That's why we also have this video. We're working on the heads that I have for the VW. Yep, it's gonna be a good build. We're gonna make a video of that soon. Now here's my Toda Copy OBX R I T B. As you can see, it's OBX R. You can see it has individual adjustments on each throttle. This way you can synchronize it. Let's look at the back side here. You're gonna see each throttle has a stopper. This lets you synchronize each throttle to one another. So that's gonna be good. So that this way it's gonna idle smoothly, just like OEM or just like, you know, on a generic manifold. Yep, and now here's the K20 Toda legit ITB. Okay, look at it. it looks really good, right? Yep. As you can see here, the Toda logo, so you know, so this is not TWM. This is actually from Toda. Well, TWM may have made it, but they made it for Toda. That's why their logo is there. All right, let's flip this. Here, let me show you. Yep. Here, be behind the injector, there's the idle screw on each throttle, the vacuum screw here. You can adjust this, but if the throttle plate is not synchronized it won't idle correctly so you gotta close that up like make sure it's all closed this way you can read the maximum vacuum that you can depending on how the throttle plate is open or cracked open so make sure all of it is closed before you check on idle and synchronize it in here let's flip it up let me show you guys here's the throttle screw for the vacuum make it make sure all of it is closed on startup when you're going to synchronize your itb yes here we flip it up like this all right you can see the adjustments are there look each throttle has an adjustment and stopper this way on idle you can start reading vacuum on each throttle and make sure everything oh every single throttle reads the same amount of vacuum then that's what they call synchronizing it or sync you know here let's get the synchronizer tool there's an adapter here for the rubber adapter for the velocity tech. you see the reading is going to be there and then on idle is going to pull vacuum you're going to see how much vacuum it's pulling here and of course then you check it on the next one and if it's not equal you write that down and take notes and you make the adjustments until you get all four throttles pulling the same vacuum this makes sure it's idling smoothly because if, when you think about it if it's running a regular manifold with a plenum all four reads the same vacuum because it's coming all together in the plenum or collecting through the plenum so getting this all equal when you think about it because the throttle has the same arc or total opening if it's not synchronized at the closed section you cannot be certain it's all equal on full throttle so once this is synchronized a lot of times you get even more improvements on the top end and overall performance 
This is why locally I've seen uh, shops do ITB or convert ITB using Toyota throttles. And they say, you know, it doesn't make much gain. It's, it's like it runs the same. Maybe that's because they never synchronized it, right? So either they just wasted their time or wasted their customers' money. So this is really, really important. It's not super expensive, the synchronizer tool, but it's really, really useful. It's imperative that you gotta have this when you're running ITB. Now let's bring back the B-Series OBXR ITB here. Yep, oh, this one looks good. I'm keeping this this way because this one gives a lot of good uh, airspeed on the runner intakes. This way it lets me, you know, run a much, much bigger cam. If it's a B18 or B20. Here you can see the individual adjustments. And like I said, if all three or all four are not synchronized, that doesn't give you insurance that on full throttle, they're all equal. Here's the adjustment for all four when it's, you know, when it's all synchronized, you can rely on that. But individually it has its own. So you get everything synchronized, it's gonna be really good. It's gonna idle smooth, just like stock. Yep. Here you crack it open like this. Yep, vroom, vroom. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yep, I love doing that and this, you know, can't wait to use this when they got it when we switch to a B series. But of course, just like on my single overhead cam or my D series, I got an ITB based on the CBR 1000. We're still gonna do the same. So when you get to run that, we're gonna have a video about it. We're gonna synchronize it just for you guys, as usual, you know? Yep. As soon as the K series finishes, we're gonna idle the Toda ITB and we're gonna get it all synced up, of course, and show you guys. So it's gonna be all fun. Yep. And also, because on the end screen, we have a playlist. Because we know this video is like this, is something that's gonna you wanna check out. It's like you know, for engine building, even all the assembly on the crankshaft and all the all tips and tricks and even the complete guide to for b20 vtec yep and also here this one we can actually everyone can do this to improve their car and understanding how to improve the volumetric efficiency this one is really really important and for those building engines here this one you can avoid spun rod bearings naturally and of course we have a channel memberships for all the hardcore stuff that you guys want to do here it is we got lots of good videos there it get it gets a little too boring for the non-hardcore builders so this one is important even for dyna tunis there every single detail like you know when we did up timing or add timing why we make more power with less timing is all important there but for the playlist of course you can just click it here